On WhatsApp I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how this app works and how to set it up and I hope you guys enjoyed this video so let's get into this video so the app that I'm going to be showing you guys is telegram so I know a lot of people are going to different places and everybody's trying out different apps right now but I really think this is a cool app and it is nice it is user-friendly and it's really simple to use and you can modify different things. So Telegram sent the people of Telegram this message that says Telegram surpasses 500 million active users. In the past 72 hours alone, more than 25 million new users from around the world joined Telegram. So that is insane. So let's install this app and let me show you how to set it up. Okay, let's go to App Store and search telegram I just press the T and it got it good so now we just wait a second for it to install it's the middle of summer right now in South Africa and it's really warm so telegram is 73.8 megabytes if you want to download it so let's open the app Okay, let's say you say start messaging. And it will ask if Telegram would like to access your contacts. Say so OK. And would you allow Telegram to send you notifications if you want to receive messages? I would suggest you allow. And if you want Telegram to use Siri, say so OK. And this is how it looks like. So to start a new message, you press on at the right. Let's just say hello and send it. So what is really nice about this app, if you if you want to message someone and you know they're at work and they and you don't want to disturb them, but you want them to receive a message, you can send a message and you hold down the send button and you can send without sound. So that person will receive the message, but they won't receive sound. And the next thing that is really cool is if it's someone's birthday and you want to wish them happy birthday on 12 at midnight, you don't really have to stay awake till then, but you can schedule the message to be sent on that time. So you just send them a message. Happy birthday. Let's put an emoji there because happy birthday is not a happy birthday without an emoji. You hold down the send button and schedule message. There you can change the time. At which you would like to send it. Send tomorrow at midnight or you can say send when online. So let's just send tomorrow for their birthday. What is really nice about this app is when you send a long message, you can edit the message. So if you had a typo or something, you can go and edit the message. So how you do that is you hold down the message and then say edit. And then you can edit, how are you, have a nice day, and send. And then it will label it as edited, but that is fine. So on this app you can search on YouTube or a Jiffy without even exiting the app. So what you press is, you type in at YouTube and then search a video that you want and it will pick up a video. I have seen people do it, but it didn't work for me. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what. So it just says add GIF. And there you see it pops up. Any GIF that you want to send. And you can search a hello GIFI. And 
and you can send it. So what you can do on this app is you can select a part of a text in a text that you sent. So what you do is you hold down on the text and you hold down again and then it will create where you can select or you can copy or share that specific text. What's great about this app is it does not compress your videos or your photos like other apps. So if you send it, it is a good quality image or video. So this app has folders, chat folders. So you go to settings and you see chat folders, create a folder, folder name, let's say family, and add chats, say Monique's chats, my phone, and create. Then you go back to chats and there you will have a folder on the top and there's family. So all your family's chats can lay under that folder. So you can have a family folder, you can have a friends folder, a work folder, and I think that's pretty cool. So with this app you can have secret chats. So if you go into the contact, you go to the profile pic on the right top side, you press the three dots and you say start secret chat. So you press on that and say start. So there you will see it says you invited me to join a secret chat. It uses end-to-end -end encryption. It leaves no trace of our service. It doesn't use Telegram service to send the message. So it's very private. It has a self-destruct timer so then it will be gone. And it does not allow forwarding. And what is really cool about this app is you can customize this app to your liking. So what you do is go to settings, then you go to appearances. There you will see different options. So what you want during the day or night mode, tinted night. And below that you will see different colors that you can make your chat. Let's take that yellow orange color and you can change the chat background if you'd like. You can have it blurred or motion. You can see. I think this is really cool. Okay, sit. Then you go back. And you can change your text size. Or the message corners, you can make it really round or not so round. And you can make it auto night mode, let's say automatic. What's really cool is you can change the app icon. It gives you options here, let's say, let's press that one. Let's see how it looks. There it is on the home screen. So thank you guys for watching this video and I hope it was helpful and I hope this app will help you in the future and you will enjoy this app. I think it's really cool and you can just play around with it. And I really hope you guys have a lucky day. Bye!